They have got Athletic are back within the drop. You can't actually buy them yet, but you can view them on the website. So let's have a look at some of the pieces and also just have a look at some of the previous Fear of God garments so you can get a sense of size and fit. So in this drop, there's a few more items than the previous one and they've expanded on their products and also the colorways as well. And one thing I do really like about Fear of God marketing is their promotional images are always really, really good. So as you can see here, they're really oversized, kind of look like a character from Doom. Now, as someone who is an essential and athletics owner, I have to say with this current athletics line, I'm not really liking the price and also the design of some of their garments because it looks so similar to the essential line. So let's take a look at the first item, which I actually have a piece of. It's the three quarter mock neck t-shirt. I think this is one of the few clothing items that doesn't have anything similar to it from the Essentials line. So in the promotional photo, this garment looks incredible. And when you initially put it on, it does look quite good. It sits well on your body and the heavy GSM cotton is really comfortable. But for me, the problem is after you wear it for about an hour or so, the elastic will just starts to shrink up and start rising up your neck. Now for me, this is not that comfortable. It does kind of feel like someone's strangling you a little bit. Now, obviously that's subjective to whether or not you like this kind of fit or not. Now for me personally, I can't really wear it for any longer than an hour. It just makes me feel like I'm suffocating. And I think this is an issue with any of the Fear of God t-shirts in general as well. Like for the high mock neck design, it's just really, really tight. And this is what I'm a little bit confused with because the athletics line, I'm assuming it should really be for athletics people, right? So naturally they would have broader shoulders and wider necks, which to me the cut doesn't really make sense. It's so oversized for movement, but then at the same time, it's just really restricting on your neck and your waist. But let's move on to the next items, which are the sweatpants. I actually think the best item Fear God makes are sweatpants. And that's across all three essentials, athletics and mainline as well. But just to clarify, I've never actually purchased anything from the mainline because it's just so expensive. And to me, when you get to that sort of price range, it needs to be really, really special for me to want to get it. And unfortunately, I just don't think Fear of God hits that criteria. So what I really like about Fear of God essential sweatpants and the athletic range, no one really makes sweatpants like them at the moment. Again, they use the high GSM heavy cotton for the sweatpants. This helps with the baggy pants to stay in shape when you wear them over a long period of time. And the signature long drawstring design that Fear of God have done, it just adds a little bit of character to the look, which I really like. So I'm 5'9", which is 175 centimeters, and I weigh between 82 to 85 kilos. I just fluctuate between them. Uh, depending on how much exercise I do. And I'm also a 34 to 36 waist, again, depending on the brand. Fear of God in general, I would wear a size medium, but I also have a pair in small and a pair in large. So here's a comparison of how they look on me. Okay, so next let's look at the hoodies and the sweaters. Except for the colorway, the elastic binding around the hood and the scuba diving style opening are both very similar on the Essential and the Athletics line. And in terms of material, the Essential line is 80% cotton and 20% polyester, whilst the Athletic one is 83% cotton and 17% recycled polyester. So you're paying double the price for 3% more cotton and to have the Adidas logo instead of the Essential logo, which to me doesn't really make sense because they look so similar. And because they're so similar in design, it almost doesn't justify why you'd want to pay more than double of what you're paying for for the Essential equivalent. And in my opinion, there should be three things that you should be looking at as a consumer when you're purchasing garment. Number one is obviously the cost. Number two is the quality. So that's the material used, the cutting and the finishing. And then number three is the uniqueness of the design design and how it fits. And if I'm buying something at that kind of price range, I want to know that a lot of thought has gone into the design of it and that this is the only garment I can get that has this specific sort of style. And for the hoodie, unfortunately, I just think they were just too similar to justify why you'd want to spend that much money on something that almost looks identical on the essential line. And another issue I've got with Fear of God non-mainline uh, at the moment is that they've really started to cut corners with the finishing touches of all their garments. So if we look at this three quarter t-shirt that I showed you earlier, and we look at the neckline, you can see how there's no cover on it. Now comparing that to the first drop uh, that got released over four years ago, you can see the cover literally covers from one shoulder all the way across the neckline and then across the other shoulder as well. So they've stopped doing that, which 
first of all, it really makes it a lot more comfortable to wear when you've got the garment on because obviously that is rubbing against your neck. So if it doesn't have a good finishing, then it's not going to be comfortable to wear over a long period of time. Now, secondly, if we look at the collar of the t-shirt, now you can see that because the fabric's a little bit lighter than the heavy cotton. So what ends up happening is that the collar label ends up flicking up whilst you're wearing it. And if you're wearing it for even over five minutes, what that does is it just starts rubbing the back of your neck constantly and it just makes it super uncomfortable. And you can see on my Essentials t-shirt, I've had to take off the sizing tag because again, it was doing the same thing. And because it's plastic, it just means that it's really sharp cutting into your neck. And since then, I've never really purchased any more Fear of God Essential t-shirts, hoodies or sweaters because they're just not comfortable, which at that price point, I really don't think is acceptable. Finally, let's take a look at some of the sneakers that they've got. So I actually purchased a pair when they first came out, but I've had to return them because again, I don't really know who they're designing these for because they're so uncomfortable. It just doesn't make sense. So if you look at it from the top view, basically, the toe starts tapering in and then it becomes a point. Basically, it's just crushing your toes when you're wearing it. And that pair was actually the last time that I'm actually going to be buying anything from Adidas without actually trying it on first because I've got an issue with Adidas sizing. So in terms of actual measurement, I'm a size 10. But I know that if I was to get a pair of Nikes, I would get a size nine and a half because in general, Nikes are a little bit more roomy. So I go down half a size so that it fits a little bit better. But with Adidas, I've got a pair of Yeezys, which are in size 10 and a half. They fit fine, but then the next pair I get, if I get 10 and a half, it ends up not fitting anymore. And obviously you have to buy them online and you can't try them on. And the return process is so difficult, you're almost stuck with them. And that's the same with the athletic sneakers. I actually ended up going with a size 11, so a whole size up, and it was still too tight. And wear testers, they actually did a video on how bad these shoes were when they first came out. So I would just recommend staying away from them unless you really want them or you've tried them on before and you'd like them. So if you haven't got any Fear of God items yet and you're looking into the athletic range that's coming out soon, personally, the only thing I think you should consider are the sweatpants. I think they're different enough to justify picking up, but for more than double the price, I think you should just stick with the essential line. And for the rest of the line in general, the essential line looks so similar anyway. It just doesn't really make sense to pick it up. At least that's from my perspective. So those are my thoughts on the Fear of God athletic line that's coming out soon. Let me know your thoughts. And if you're interested in seeing some of the items I got from Uniqlo, you can check out this video or this video here. Thanks for watching and see you next time.